Freedom Fighters, I'm back with another one, coming at you live from the truck, living in my truck down by the river, under a bridge by the highway, so, uh, you know, my apologies in advance if it gets uh, pretty noisy around here, there's actually a pretty busy parking lot and area too, I don't remember it being that busy here, but anyway, um, censorship. That's what we're going to be talking about today. That's the uh, word of the day. Um, been wanting to talk about it for a while again. And lately, you know, ramping up to the election, it's just been going crazy. Um, it's really been, you know, out of hand here recently. Um, and I've talked about it before. It's been a discussion and in, in topics before. I did a video uh, a while back now. I actually, I think it was called proof that I have visited the shadow realm and it was basically just saying acknowledging like yeah I'm completely shadow banned you know I live within the shadows of you know the tube and social media because I've been uh you know pretty much censored and banned from everything but um you know and I showed some evidence in that video that you know my comments will show up on my screen but they won't show up on you know other people's screen or if you use a vpn or private network something like that it, it won't show up but you know that's nothing really new they've been doing that for a while but uh lately man it's like sometimes i come back to my com uh my comments they're not even there now they're just straight up deleted like, they don't even try to hide it anymore. Like, the, you know, like, oh, let's make it look like it's still there. And they'll think their comments up. Nope, just wipe it clean. Um, you know, and I think I even mentioned this in the other video. But I'm, I'm noticing it even more now. I swear they even go in there and mess with the comments. Because sometimes the way things are worded and, and the words that are used, I know. I'm like, I didn't write it that way. And, and, and other times it just like it just sounds stupid and I think that's what I said before like man they almost they wrote it like a bot would say it or like you know someone who doesn't understand or doesn't speak English would write it and, and I think it's almost done that way on purpose to make it like like oh this person doesn't know what he's talking about but uh Man, I wouldn't put anything behind them. They're altering comments, deleting, shadow banning, you know, all this stuff. But, uh, you know, and the other thing recently when I was doing that uh, response video to Full Spectrum Survival, you know, when I was looking up his video to try to, to go find that video again that I was going to do the response to, uh, I couldn't find his channel. You know, and I haven't actually searched his channel and for the longest time it, his videos just kind of pop up on my feed so you know I end up watching them if it's you know a topic or something you know I think it's interesting but since I was actually searching for him and I realized his channel didn't pop up so you know Brad must have done something to uh anger the tube overlords but um you know the same thing happened to me it wasn't long ago where you know, I was telling a friend, uh, you know, one of the friends I went traveling with this summer and did our little uh, trip. Uh, I was like, yeah, man, check out my channel. I'll post the videos on there. You know, somebody that I trust and everything. Uh, and, and he was looking it up and he's like, oh, man, I can't find it. And I was like, you know, let me check. So I put the, uh, you know, Freedom Fighter 1861 or first I put Freedom Fighter and there's like hundreds, you know, maybe even a thousand freedom fighters. And you just scroll, scroll and scroll and scroll through the, you know, the channels. Mine never shows up. And I thought at first it was because, you know, they were higher, you know, view count or subscriber channels. Some of them had like 50K subs, um, you know, different, you know, 30K, 20K, 10K. But then I saw some with 30 and 19 and 25 and you know, you name it. And, and I'm like, all these are showing up, but mine doesn't. So then I had to put, I put Freedom Fighter 1861 in it. And then that one didn't even pop up. So I was like, you know, it, it, it's pretty clear, you know, how it was going. I'm like, man, they don't even want to, you know, show it up. So I'm asking you, like, how do you guys even find my channel? 
Uh, do, do my videos actually pop up in your feed? Are they, you know, are you searching my name or looking for the content? But, um, so yeah, then the guy was like, oh man, let me see the, uh, you know, the truck show and, and Gettysburg and I want to see the camping trip. And, you know, I was giving them the video titles and everything and you literally have to type it like word for word of the video title and I think some of them still didn't show up you had to type in like uh I can't remember truck nationals you know freedom fighter 1861 uh camping in the Appalachian Mountains freedom fighter 1861 in order for it to actually pop up so you know I'm I'm so far beyond the realm and the censorship it's you know pretty retarded but you know, I kind of wanted to touch on it again. This is kind of a response video to, uh, you know, Freedom Inc. just did a a video on this. And uh, I guess the point, too, I wanted to touch on was his point was that, you know, you think it's just the tube or, you know, Google or, you know, whatever these these sites. And, you know, it's it's the leftists, you know, it's the demon rats. But he's like, you know, it comes from... The conservatards as well, you know, the conservacucks, and you know, I've I've talked about it. I can't remember what I said back in my old, you know, Shadow Realm video, but I've talked about on multiple occasions that you know the censorship comes from the right as well, and and we've talked about the Patriot Act and stuff like that. That was his point, you know, in in '01 when we had that event. And Bush, you know, neocon, uh, you know, conservator Bush said, oh, well, now we need to open up the surveillance state. Now we need to monitor social media and all this stuff. And the guys of safety, you know, the Republicans ate it up as well. Like, yeah, do it. Do it. Keep us safe, Daddy Bush. Or, well, that was Baby Bush. Baby Bush Jr. But you know what I mean. Government. Gover Daddy Government. You know, keep us safe, watch over us, monitor content, tap our phones, you know, all this in the guise of safety. And they love it. And I, and I know I've talked before about, I probably talked about it in the recent um, Groypers vs. MAGA debate where uh, Nick, you know, has been running the Groyper War and, you know, all this stuff. And they've been, uh, you know... I've been kicked out. I can't even tell you how many uh, like Republican groups, uh, conservative groups, and stuff I've been kicked out or banned from um, because they don't they don't like any deviation either. And they've all just become centrist. You know, yeah, they oppose the left on a little bit, but at the end of the day, they're just you know government statists. They might not like the left, but they still love government. And, and they still want to, you know, work together to, you know, operate the wheels of government. That's all they're fighting over. And I've said before in these uniparty bills and all this stuff, they they act like they oppose each other, but they support, you know, the 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 methods that they use because one day they they hope to wield the power. Right, they wield the power of government, so they act like, oh no, that's bad. Oh no, we oppose the, you know, the Patriot Act or whatever, you know, they're doing at this time. But then, you know, whatever they get the wheels turning, you know, they grease the gears, and then when the next party gets in office, they all of a sudden love it. They're like, oh, this is great, you know. Yeah, now we can uh, turn the tables and, you know, monitor the MAGA. You know, they, they've openly said in congressional hearings and stuff, you are, you know, the new T-word. You're the DTs. So, you know, yeah, they're just, they're kicking up the censorship and, you know, full gear. You know, expect it to go even harder after the election. You know, I'm sure we're going to see some events where they're going to crack down even harder. Um, you know, and nothing's free. That's the other thing. It, 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 True Social was, you know, like, oh, come on here. to, You know how many fights and stuff I get on on True Social with these boomers and getting kicked off of groups and blocked from, you know, different uh, chats and all this stuff. And then again, I've started getting 
uh, shadow banned on there as well. And then, you know, when Elon took over Twitter, you know, now X, they're like, oh, this is the free speech platform and all that. It's still not. I get shadow banned on there. I get all kinds of stuff. Uh, I was responding. I remember this one specifically responding to uh, an Andrew Tate tweet. And, you know, he said the F word, the uh, the other F word, the the old saying for, you know, a pack of cigarettes. And he's like, these pack of cigarettes, you know, criminals are who run the world. These, you know, and I said something along the lines of, um, yeah, you might think they're just a, you know, a pack of cigarettes or, you know, a cigarette, but, you know, somehow they're ruling the world. You know, if, if they're just a, an old cigarette, how come none of these alpha males, none of these top G's have overthrown them yet? You know? And this is, again, what I've always said from the right. It's a lot of bravado. It's a lot of pumping your chest and, you know, the muscles and, you know, we got the guns and, you know, all this stuff. But we're run by some cigarettes. You know, we're run by these freaks. And and we continue to allow it to happen. And and it's never going to change. And if you ever advocate for that change or say anything else, that's when you're no longer welcome in the Republican Party or conservatives. That's when the right says, oh, no, you know, we don't talk like that because we still love government. And, you know, it's it's just the same old, same old. And then, uh, you know, Nate over there at Canadian Preparedness has even said before where he thinks X is a total op anyway. He's like, it's a honeypot. And they want you over there, you know, speaking your mind and telling the truth. So, you know, because they're looking at it all. Don't think for a second when, you know, they they allow Elon to operate. You know, he's a part of it. Everyone thinks like, oh, you know, he's the free speech savior and... You know, he's a patriot and he's, you know, doing all this stuff. Look what he's into, man. He's into social uh, credit score, CBDC. He's into building robots and putting chips in your brain. We're going to get to all that that technology shit later. I wanted to do a whole nother video on that. But he's completely compromised. Um, the government allows him to operate. And you saw that suit that they came out with, right? Saying they were going to sue him for uh, discrimination hires or something. Any, uh, just like the guy from Telegram, right? Uh, An actual uh, free speech platform. Uh, Once they got to him, they were like, oh no, you're going to prison for whatever it was, 30, 40 years. We're going to take down your whole empire. We're going to seize your assets. We're going to do, you know, take everything. And then he sung like a canary, you know, in the coal mine. And he just gave away. He's like, oh, no, you can look at whatever you want. Gave him the back door to, to, to Telegram. You know, gave him the key. So when they threaten Musk, you know, oh, we're going to take down your, your space program. We're not going to allow you to operate within the United States. We're going to, you know, destroy your satellites or we're not going to let your products be sold. We're going to put exorbitant taxes on it. Um, You know, all this stuff. We're going to sue you into oblivion. We're going to seize your assets. Guarantee you, he just hands over X and they're going to search everything on that platform and gather up and round up uh, dissidents. But, you know, again, I'm not really worried about that because here I am posting to the enemy platform. So, you know, that doesn't even really bother me that it's like, oh, one day they're going to use X against us. Well, yeah, they're going to use it all, man. All comms are compromised and act accordingly because that's exactly what it is. There is no free speech. Everything's being watched and everything's being monitored. And uh, yeah, so now they're censoring, but, you know, know, we know what the end game is. But yeah, man, I think I touched on a lot there. I mean, let me know what you think. Um, Until the next one, man, you know what it is. We are on our own. Nobody's coming to save us. So get right with God, because only God can save you. Freedom Fighters out.